The drivers, characters, and events in Tokar are fictional. Nobody was harmed in the filming of this production. Now sit back and enjoy the race. Welcome one, welcome all. It's Thursday night and it's time to have a ball. It's the Goodies Trash series from Gauntlet. The Gauntlet, if you will. I'm Matt. Kyle is not in the booth tonight. He is actually sitting on top of the box for Ron Roundback in that 77 car. He decided it's been a shit season so far, and this is probably the most dangerous racetrack that we'll go to all season. So he wants to be there in support for his driver and to try and turn those results around. But as always, I am joined by Mike and Tristan. Fellas, I'm not going to say what are we going to see today. I'm going to ask what aren't we going to see today. I think we're going to see people not go into those RVs there on the inside because they're walled off pretty good. But as far as what we are going to see, I think it's going to be everything under the sun. We're going to see some big crashes, some eight wide racing. I think that in that grass in between the pit road and the big bank turn there, I don't even think that's off limits. No, I might have some visitors. And I'm going to have to agree with Mike on this one. Uh, what we aren't going to see is a clean race. I think it's going to be a bloodbath, honestly. Uh, you know, this has the similarities of a road course uh, just at higher speeds. Kind of kind of like Avis a, a season ago, to an extent. Uh, except a few more turns than that, but we're going to we're gonna see what happens here today, I guess. As is tradition, we'll have to check in with Mike here on an injury report. Yeah, a bit of a, uh, bit of a stacked report this week. Our first diagnosis actually came before the green flag with Asiago, where he hit the end of the pit wall coming to the green. An obvious case of massive Chris for him. And then David Krappenschitz started tumbling on the first lap, and uh, he actually wasn't feeling too good before he started the race. Had a bit of an upset stomach, and uh, that, that quick flip uh, wasn't good for that, and he actually soiled his fire suit. And you know Tokar is operated on a shoestring budget. Each driver only has one fire suit for the whole season. <laughs> so he had a long week of laundry, but uh, hopefully he got it nice and clean for today. And Massive Chris has a case of himself. Actually ran into a lot of things last week, it wasn't just one particular impact. But one of those impacts was Sir Blue's hamstring who ran into him, and that another case for him. But at this point, Massive Chris, it's like concussion. Meh. Dale Bernhardt after having acid reflux 2 after Auto Club. Now he has acid reflux 3, it just, he just keeps leveling it up. He's actually trying those Tums gummies this week, so maybe that'll give him some more relief. Any chalk Tums truthers out there? And then our father, Dad Gum, after what he saw happen in his mirror to Walter pressure, he, he, he was shocked and just reached down in the floorboard for his crucifix that he keeps in the car at all times, just in case. But ever since that event, man, it's just, he's been hearing things, he's been seeing things, books go flying off of his shelves. Might be Pierre, might be some of the other people we've lost, might be somebody new, who knows. But I'd keep that crucifix on the dash here today. When Awful Allen got spun around so many times that he's, he's just been dizzy all week, but when he gets dizzy, he sees hot dogs. Not sure why, I mean, they are pretty good, especially them big ones from Sonic. Mmm, Sonic. And then, of course, let us not forget Walter Pressure. We still not quite sure what happened to him. The best, best we can guess is just the curse of Pierre. Pierre misses his family. He saw Walter driving up above him, and he's like, you know what? Come down here, Daddy. The car started spinning so fast that we saw a mist come out of the windows. Turns out that was his atoms being pulled apart bit by bit. And uh, when we got to the car resting on the pit road after it got magically teleported back, there was, uh, there was nothing left of Walter. Well, that's just horrifying news, Mike. Well, after we saw what happened last week with Walter Pressure, we still don't even really know what happened. All we know is the car started spinning so violently that nobody could survive that, no matter how tough you are. But uh, the Pressure family, deeply devastated by what happened, first with Pierre, now with Walter, it, that family is cursed. And you know what? The rest of those members, they, they want to break the curse. So we have Claire Pressure, we have Pierre's grandmother. She saw what happened to her, uh, to her son and grandson over the last two seasons. She was just disgusted. So uh, she put down her baking sheet. She put, her cookies were almost done, but she just threw them out of the oven. She's like, you know what? I'm getting in that damn car. I'm going to break this curse. But you know what? Because of her age, she's not very, uh, very tough. So she's going to need her other grandson, Aaron Pressure. He's going to be getting into the car on the first pit stop every single week. And they're going to earn points together. But uh, that might not be fair to Aaron, but it's okay because uh, those points are going to be left to him and her will. So uh, if anything happens, let's hope not. But hopefully the, uh, the new pressures can bring some luck to the 75 team. Tokar that truly is a family affair. The family tree just keeps growing and growing, it seems. Shit's about to get uprooted. Anyway. One day, we're just going to cut it down. At any rate, 
It's time to get some racing underway here at this 4.75 mile sorta oval at the gauntlet. But first, it's the starting grid, presented by the Roush Racing Rubber Ducks. Well, Dad Gum on the pole, it's Dad Gum. And starting at his outside, Reese Ware in the 86 car. Starting third, we have Joplin Moore in the 01, followed by fearless Fred Bush in the 28. Next up, we have Sir Lewis Hamstring in the 44 with Shave Burns in the number eight Corvette. Next row, 33 car, Weed Trimma, looking to have, I don't know, anything better than what has happened so far this season, which is just abysmal. And next to him, someone else who has had a terrible time so far, Preston DeWall. Next up, number 65, Lawful Allen, looking to have a good run today. And rounding out the top 10, Derek Polk in the 92. Starting 11th, we got Filet Mignon, herding cattle yesterday, driving today. Hopefully he can get something done here at the gauntlet. With his outside, we got st severe thunderstorm Varnon in that 27, hoping it's a clear day today. Still full of acid, Dale Bernhardt starting on the inside of the next row. With Kyle's car, Ron Round back to 77 on to his outside. And we got Harvey Quinn, still no funding, still looking for a sponsor for the hood of that car. And then Asiago Asiago in the... Uh, Less cursed McDonald's car starting his outside. Our favorite Italian, Giuseppe Gabagulli, hoping to uh, have a better better run this week than last week. He broke his second place streak. Maybe he can get it done here. And then we have the Plot 55 car this week driven by Liz Wyoming, hoping to uh, make his first start. Something uh, something to uh, behold this year. Then we have Massive Crifts, the winner from Auto Club, with LW Wrong starting his outside. Not the season he's been wanting so far. Starting 21st is going to be the 99 of Andrew. To his outside is, as we mentioned, Claire Pressure in the 75, who will switch out with Aaron Pressure later on in this race. Starting 23rd is Todd the Stained Trousers, and then to his outside is the 34 of Steel Park. David Krabenshit, it's you know, he's not really, uh, he's, he's had a couple bad races here as of late, a couple airborne accidents it feels like, but he's looking to bounce back here. I don't know if this is the track to do it, but we'll see what happens. And then to his outside is going to be the 67 of Vega Dub. Starting 27th is the 90 car, Kobe Keith, last week's, win last week's winner. And then to his outside is the zero of everyone's favorite mushroom farmer, Spore Tender. 29th is going to be the number 21 of David Gutterball. And then rounding out the top 30 is going to be the 42 of Bill Landlines. Bringing up the rear of the field, we got the 51 upside down roof number of Cease and Desist with Scubs. We love Scubs. Row behind them, Ali Alakainen, next to Wyatt Wilkinson. Next row, Clink Bottles, everyone's uh, favorite, uh, yeah, y you know, the kind of guy. Uh, next to him, CJ Simpson in the 37 car. He did it. Starting 37th, Hud Strickland in the 79 car. And to his outside, Lemmy Gadinia, who is saying, let me get a good race in here in this Goodies Trash series. It's kind of been a tough season. Colonel Caleb Rose starts 39th with Cam Arrow to his outside in 40th. And our final row. Jackie said in the 07 car, trying to have, I don't know, a decent day. So one that doesn't end upside down or in the wall or possibly even in the grassy area that Mike mentioned earlier. And Victor Elaine is on her outside. Victor did not set a qualifying time. Um, we're trying to get an update on that story from Rob Pockets or somebody to see oh, why no lap? Why no go? I just got a text from Rob, and it turns out uh, the fuel tanker that brings the fuel to the race team, uh, 41 of them showed up, but there was a 42nd that got stuck in traffic. Very unfortunate, but turns out got here just before the race, and the team ran out there with a gas can, put a little bit of fuel in the car, but he's going to have to come in soon because that's not going to last. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. I mean, the banking of the track will help the fuel go towards the fuel pickup in some turns, but in other turns, it's going the opposite way. Something to look out for. Well, you've heard where they're starting. Let's find out where they're finishing. We'll send it down to Jason Payson with the command. Drivers, start your engines. Who, who is this lady? Uh, Where's I think Jason? I think Why does back. she keep showing up? God. Did oh, we miss a letter of resignation for the trash series from, from Jason Payson or something? He might be on the plane out to Pick's Creek, because that is a bit of a drive from here, I think. I don't even know where we are, but I know where that is. 
We're in the gauntlet, Mike. Good name. Very scary. Terrifying. Like I said earlier, 4.75 mile, sort of oval, basically a road course. Just no braking. And I, even if there's a crash, probably just don't hit the brakes. There's so much room on this racetrack. Just go hey, around Here we go, it. boys. Pace car's in. It's a long pit oh, yeah. road. Yeah, we have a, probably a mile, if I had to guess, of pacing left to go. You see here, this is the penultimate corner of the racetrack, a very high-banked left-hander. Uh, following, it is a very high-banked right-hander headed towards the start-finish line, which gives us, I, I think, plenty of opportunity for just a very wild finish because you can go all the way up to the top and just happen to get a big run off the banking, beat whoever it is to the line. There's the pace car. But Dad Gum, after everything that's happened to him this season, will bring us down to the green flag here as they come roaring off that big bank. Look at that. Look at that decline slash incline. Here they come. Bringing the field down. And the green flag waves and the boggy line. Boogity, boogity. Already fanning out back there. Just trying to shake shake things out, figure out what they got. There's a little bit of a anomaly that goes on in turn one. You'll notice as the race progresses, the cars kind of hit the stanky leg um, as they go through that big bank corner. Um, I, I don't know, maybe the the platform of the vehicle just can't can't handle it in some cases. We'll see how that plays out through the end of the day, but we already have people shifting, shaking up towards the lead. We have, who is that? Is that Joplin yes. Moore taking the lead? Joplin Moore. Very we trim on the inside. Couple of, Weed uh, wants it. A couple meteorologists up here. I, I well, don't even know if Joplin is a meteorologist, but he should become one after what he's been through. We got clear skies here today. A beautiful oh, day God, for eight tight. wide racing at Man. the gauntlet. You saw how those suspensions, they're having a hard time keeping up with this banking, so it's going to be even harder to drive than normal. And my God. Where did Andrew come from? I don't know, but LW, or not LW, uh, Lawful Allen, this man is stuck in the middle. He has nowhere to go. Yeah, Can't do nothing. did Andrew start outside the oh top 20? Oh my God, there's my eight wide race. And look <laughs> at this. <laughs> oh, trouble. Oh, oh, trouble. Accidente. Oh, Harvey oh, Quinn. Oh, it's a minor one. Harvey Quinn. Single car. Believe the caution? Is there a caution? I would. Be, yep, we have a caution. Yep. And they're racing back. It's a long way though. Oh, wow. Nope, not gonna oh, work. Oh, oh, oh Scubs is in it. Oh, it's spinning like a top. Oh, look out! Clink bottles sliding up the racetrack. Other cars coming. I think, I think we might get right. away with this one. Oh, ah. God. oh. Okay, no, we're good. Thank Kyle God, Kyle's on top of the box. Oh yeah. And they're still coming. They're still racing back. Here's. Massive Chris with massive moves to the inside. No help, though. Side by side with Dale Bernhardt, racing it back to the caution. And we all going to try to take a look, it looks like. Ooh. Asiago, Asiago looked all the way to the right, but no help with him. Looks like they're going to be clean and organized. Belay trying Maybe. to get some spots. Oh, yeah, that's tight. Well... They somewhat made it back. Yeah, they made it back after they didn't make it back. So that's good to know. Dale Bernhardt takes that uh takes the lead here while we go under caution and take a look at what transpired. Taking a look back at what brought out the yellow, and by God, if we don't have that eight wide race and we're always talking about, and this is what we get from it. Oh. Harvey Quinn into the outside wall. Ron Roundback involved. Probably, probably gonna be all right. That's not too much damage, but a very civil accident for the crash or for the racing that we're having, rather, um, in the grand scheme. But I don't know how he didn't slide all the way down the track. He's so far up there. It's those Gunier Instawear tires that uh, we had a test with on Monday. Uh, rest in peace, uh, Brody Craft. But they're grippy. Oh, they're so grippy. But this isn't all that happened. As oh, yep. See, there you go. We had a Scubs incident. So we'll have to ah. Uh! Take a look at uh, the second part of this uh, caution, if you will. Not what brought it out, but what happened afterwards. Looks like Scubs got him to clink bottles a little bit and took oh. Andrew along with him. Right after the safer Barry ended. Some heavy hits into the inside wall there. It's thankfully, a lot of RVs. After, thankfully, it was only these three that was involved. And uh, 
no worse for wear. I think they're all gonna get, gather it up and be all right. Come Hopefully. Brown back. Andrew was making big moves early. I'd hate to see him hindered in the rest of this Grand Prix. On board the 99 of Andrew, just minding his own business. Then here comes Scub and friends. Man, he's tearing up all that sod, man. I hope we don't have to pay for that. <laughs> just watching Scubs spin around like that after being blindsided has to, I don't know, at least add some comedic value for Andrew. I don't think he's laughing. I'm laughing. Why are they laughing? People died. Crapping, shitting, and burping all in the top two. Back here at the gauntlet for some more goodies trash series action. Hopefully we get some more green flag laps in, um, or at least if they crash, make it cool. Those, those are some pretty lame crashes that we saw there. Okay, uh, David Crapping shits. Format. I, I know exactly what I want. It's I okay. I like these people. I don't want them to perish. Well, we all have our uh, our foibles, you know. Uh, David Krapichitz will be leading the field down with Dale Bernhardt to his right. It's going to be lap 7 of 35 here at the gauntlet. And the green flag's out. Some weird starts and restarts. Here they go, <laughs> going five wide for second already. Here comes Massive Chris for the lead. Massive Chris trying to get... Trying to have himself a massive season here, if you will, uh, with his win that he has and decent runs all around. And it's looking good for the WWE team. Yeah, crap, it shit's fighting hard on that outside, though, to keep the lead here. He's got a pretty strong car here in the early going. You love to see it. Luckily, nobody uh, severely torn up in that crash too bad, so we still have mostly our full pack. Probably won't see that for too much longer. As we're going five wide for second again. Hell yeah. And with that far away camera view, you can see just how little of the track the entire pack takes up. They look like ants out there. Oh, Ollie. Oh! oh. Hud Strickland. Just, he's not waiting. He said it's time to go immediately. We just had three lead changes <gasps> in the span of one corner, oh, and it's so like four wide now. Wow. Severe thunderstorm varning all the way over to the right. You can't barely even see him on the on the screen. They're like six wide right now for second. We trim is trying to throw blocks, <laughs> Eight and wide for again. what? That's that might be nine wide. Oh, there they are! Oh, 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 they're no. hitting and they're crashing oh. and they're going towards the wall. Oh, they're wrecking more. There's smoke everywhere. There's cars everywhere. Contact. Oh, oh. Oh! 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 Bad day to be Kyle. Worse. Kyle. Oh man. His favorite and his car. He, yeah, he's gonna hate to see that. For real, for real. The rest of the field are racing back. Weed Trimma has emerged as the solitary leader. Nobody next to him. Maybe might be someone next to him here in a second if Hud Strickland or Shave Burns have anything to say about it. And leading in whatever that car is. I, oh, I have Pope. no idea. Making Big moves. Move. Making copies. He's going to help Schaefer and try to get to the lead here. Come to the yellow flag here. I don't know. I, I feel like they lose too much time center of the corner for the, the banking drop to help them out. Oh, oh and Hud almost got there on the opposite end of the racetrack. Two one hundredths of a second. Okay, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Anyway, they crashed. We got to look at it. Looking at a replay here. I, the 55 gets turned by Jackie said, while the 30 is also getting turned, and everybody just kind of starts to scramble. All the guys that spun off to the left get away with it clean, but the rest of the field kind of just starts to pile in. Look at Clink Bottles flying through there. Slams into Harvey Quinn. That's what sent him flying across the track. Joplin Moore involved. Of course, Ron Roundback, as we saw, gets plowed by David Gutterball. Shambles for Kyle. We're going to ride on board here with Preston DeWall as he heads towards DeWall. Woo. Oh, Oof. barely misses it. Gathers it back up. And Oof. there's the rest of them. <laughs> Aaron making it through. Woo. There was Clink after his contact with Harvey. Oh, oh. and he's just chasing. Aaron, what was that about? Doesn't like new people, guys. That's fair. Mind, mind you, Aaron is in the car now. That is something we did not mention yet. Aaron did swap out with, uh, swap out with 
grandmother? I don't know how the family <laughs> tree works <laughs> <grand> anymore. Grand. <laughs> Close enough. Anyways, Aaron is in the car. All you need to know. Coming back to you from the gauntlet. It's the Goodies Trash Series. LW wrong. I think stayed out. So he will lead the field down to the green flag. Uh, we trim a Hud Strickland, all the other main players racing back to the last caution. Back up here, cease and desist. After, I don't know, he hasn't really done much today. I'd like to see some good stuff out of him. David Krappenschitz restarting close enough to the front to where his clearly very fast vehicle might be able to make it to the lead quite quickly. So, LW wrong. Takes them off the banking, down to the line. And we're back green right, uh, flag racing, yeah. I stumbled over my words, but I made it happen. They're already spanning out three wide. Guys, we've been really lucky. Most of these crashes, they've been pretty light contact, so we have most of the packs still, surprisingly, but... I don't know how long Look they at can Derek do Look at Derek Polk, wasting no time trying to get to, get to the lead here. Nice view of the, the foliage. Yeah. <laughs> and now HUD's going to try to take a look on the outside. Oh, man. They're making that top side work up there, too. You got Bernhardt all the way out near that double, or the, near the second white lines. See, that'll work. They start for them. to arc back in throughout the corner. They're arching their backs. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm arched. I'm tightened. Ooh, They're touching. Let me, me get in, you said. Let me get this spot from you. David Krappenschitz right in the middle of the Hornet's Nest. And here comes Fearless Fred hey! to the lead now. Hey! Oh, oh Storm Barnet! Oh! Big hit in the inside wall. Oh, Big lot of cars drifting up the track. And they'll collect the outside wall. Another soft collection, it looks like. Oh, that 55 is pretty tore oh, up. That's not good. Oh, man. Yeah. We're going to have to talk to uh, Liz Wyoming after this. But the racing back is fragile, Fred. Okay. He's not going to lead them back, but he's close. Third. Close enough. Yippee. Look at that. Not even <gasps> two tenths Ooh, of a whoa, second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God, oh, guys. The caution's out. Not even two tenths of a second separating the top ten as they came to the line there. So if we can, you know, get some green flag racing in, we're, we're in for a treat. It's up to them, though. Trouble! Whoa! I could see it brewing as it was happening. Uh, severe Thunderstorm Varnin just kind of gets hooked by Jackie Said. He was racing real close side by side with Giuseppe Gabagulli. And the 55 gets collected and they all bounce off the inside wall right up in front of traffic. Wyatt Wilkinson gets a piece. Ooh, Cam Arrow hit the wall pretty decent back there. Massive Chris gets a piece of it. Asiago, Asiago. Whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Not happy. Not happy. Maybe he wanted himself some Mick Cafe. Let's see what Cam Arrow saw. Probably a lot of smoke. Oh. <laughs> there goes yep. the 55 and everybody, and then he's just in it and probably pissed off. Oof. Hey. Bit of a lick, but after what, uh... After what I saw in some dreams here, that was a pretty light contact still. Double file and ready to go here once again at the gauntlet. The man who did not put down a qualifying lap, Victor E. Lane, is going to lead them back to the green. Not sure what all happened in pit road and who pit and whatnot. Didn't pay attention. Don't care. Derek Polk is to his right for this one. We have one car out of the race from the things that have transpired, and that unfortunately is David Krappenschitz in the sixth car. As they come here to the line, and we're green flag racing. You have to wonder, guys. I wonder if that fuel tanker being late was intentional, because because of that, we weren't able to inspect the fuel. Yeah, it could be anything in there. Might be some all in all. Not our problem could, now. I don't know. It could just be very sugary Kool-Aid. Running off of the glucose, you know what I mean? Maxine, if you will, who is racing tomorrow oh. at Pix Creek. Oh, fantastic. Hopefully he doesn't tear up the 55 like Liz. I love it when I can max my glucose. As you can tell, we are completely unfazed by the five and six wide racing that happens on these restarts at this point, because it's it's just how it works here. But they are, in fact, four, five, maybe even six wide throughout this first group of cars here. They start to string out as they go on through the pack, but check that out. That's Aaron Presha making moves nope. to the inside, and they're oh, touching that. Kobe Keith. And, and Hud Strickland's leading. right in the middle of it again. How about that? Aaron oh, has it. Up, up, up. Oh, 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 hard in the wall. Oh, hard oh, side oh, down. Key. Oh, Kobe Keith's key. getting slammed. Hammer, rammer, ramp, ram. Multiple cars involved. Oh. 
55 Open gets sins, a piece hamstring. of it. string. Oh, my. Dude. That one was harder. That one, yeah. That was not a soft nope. collection. And they're still racing back. That was possibly the greatest hits. The greatest hits. Look yeah. at how single five. Oh, they did take the caution. Aaron Crusher say, in the lead. He really is, and he's driving straight through the virtual pace car. I feel like these drivers have gotten word that it might not be Jason controlling that hologram. No respect. And they just don't respect. Yeah, no respect for him. Take a look at the replay here of what happened. Uh, obviously, we saw the 90 go upside down, and we're going to see how that happened. Looks like he got into HUD. It looks like he got into Waffle. Oh. Just a bunch of other cars. Filet Mignon was the car that sent him over, oh, it looked like. Dadgum. Dadgum. And he just got tagged by Bill Landlines. And these cars just keep piling in. You see Scubs in it. So if you're Thunderstorm Varnin, once oh, again. Oh, Sir Blewis oh, plowing into it. Look at the 77. Aw. Oh. Oh. And uh, another, Ten more another trip down pit road for Kyle to deal with. Yep. See, I... I knew him being on the box wouldn't mean shit. Looking at it from another angle here. See, they just get together and all collect to the right side wall there. I won't even say outside or inside, but yeah, look at that. They're just fanning out everywhere, trying to avoid getting involved. The 42 was very lucky to get pushed through that crash there by Wyatt Wilkinson, who kind of just flew in. But it worked out better for, for all electric bill landlines. Why does he get to see the crash? I'll take one more look from high above. I'll take a look at Fearless Fred. He gets involved, almost got through it, but then 90's on top. Mm. Ooh, and then a big tag there by Gabagooly. And Jackie. Gabagooly. Jackie. There's Dad Gums. Uh, whatever's left of that car. He had some hard hits. Looks like he's rolling, though. Well, so Fruit's is Fred. not so juicy. Must not have been uh, above the threshold that would take Fred out. Not so fragile oh, anymore. Honey, oh. look, Von Dutch. Back live here at the Pee Pee Poo Poo Speedway for the Shitty Crap Grand Prix. And guess who's leading them down? It's going to be Dega Dub in the 67 car, trying to get a dub at not Dega. Andrew to his right. Uh, pretty wild day for him. Had that big move early and then got involved in some things. And unfortunately, Ron Roundback is also up here with all his damage. So we'll see how he that plays out. He doesn't have a hood up there. No, and there's, there's so much room on this track. They have 7th grade dance rules as they come to the restarts here, as you can tell. Very spread out. But that's that's what it takes. And they are, in fact, back green, if you did not notice. Kyle Look pulling a Hail Mary with that call, but might yeah, work. Yeah, I think they're going to drop like a rock here, honestly. You know, we've seen some cars with a lot of damage this season that surprisingly could hold on to the pack, so you never know. Especially if he can avoid a crash, he might be in the top or fight for the top 10 at the finish. I think that's, that's probably what Kyle's thinking. Yeah. Whoa! Got a damage control at the same time, I would assume. Derek oh, Polk cranked it to the left. As he did what Harrison Burton did that one time where he turned left. All time moment Pre for NASCAR. Pretty cool. Look at that. Look down there. If that ain't the stain. Haven't talked about him all day, I don't think. Oh, Andrew. uh, Andrew's, Andrew's bidding. Yep. There you go. Oh, a couple of Oh, we got many oh, trouble. Oh, what was that? No! Oh! Oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Oh, Aaron that was, that was Dale Bernhardt. There's a lot of co guys. Oh! What in the world? Oh! I no. My grip. hands are on my head. I, I'm baffled by what I just saw. I, I don't even know what to say. Cease and desist. Meanwhile, I guess we'll lead them back to cease the. Cease and desist. Yes. Yes. Cease and you will. Cease uh, and deracin. And we're because we got to. I, yeah, that we gotta take a look. I, there was there was trouble to be a happening, and that's uh that's what happened. Now we have a yellow. Taking a look from high above, Andrew leads a a big group of people that needed to go to pit road. Apparently, Dega Dum in the sixty seven car needed to pit as well as the three, and he just he just turned it into the inside wall, they and since Dale. Oh. Hey! Hard hit. Sent Dale Bernhardt flying up the track. I don't think anyone hit him, but Dega Dub gets absolutely Ooh. molly Oh, the 55's down there getting destroyed. We gotta get a closer view on that. Oh, Some big hits. That's a lot of To say the least. Take another look here. Uh, we're gonna kind of watch the 55 this time of Liz Wyoming. As he had some hellacious hits. It starts oh. here with Dega Dub right there into the side of the car. 
and he's just on along for the ride here. Oh, that, group of cars oh, here. He gets oh, hit by Dad Gum, Thunder Storm, Farnan, and Dead Gum. Like a Jackie, cutting through there. Man, that looked like it hurt. Dale Bernhardt, you saw him continue on there. Maybe it worked out for him. Like I said, I don't think anyone plowed into him. Doesn't look like it. So, just some some front end damage. It'd be all right. Got some tums in that thing. Throw him in the carburetor. Here we are with the helicopter again. You see Dega Dub just slam into the wall, then Sport Tender nowhere to go into Burnhart. And then, oh, there goes Aaron Pressure. And the 79 Hud Strickland. Strickland went up in there. And once again, sliding down the track, you don't want to be doing that here while the rest of the pack is coming. Works all out this, for him. Oh, all this he, started because two cars missed the traje trajectory of Pit Road. Two dumbasses, will you? Yeah, Dega Dump. Just, but it, speaking of dumb, yeah. what, is, what is happening here? He's got it reversed. He might not be able to shift. He's, he learned from Kyle Busch. Yeah, the two dumbs. Come on, HUD. There you go. There you go, buddy. Well, there you go. He got it in gear. Things dog yeah, yourself out. <laughs> speaking of Dale Dumbheart. <laughs> oh. Where's he going? Buddy. He's mowing the grass. Dale Bernhardt is seeming to refuse the truth that he missed pit road and just continues to drive. There's, huh. see, we're at the gauntlet. Is he giving up? Or is he getting uh, it is stuck? Is he stopping? It he did seems last confused. Night. It is a he green race. He seems very trip. confused. I don't think he knows what he's doing at this point, guys. We might, uh, well, I think we that's need to get a safety tank out drive. there to. I, I, yeah, I don't think he knows where he's at right now. Oh, oh, he's got a friend. Hud knows There's what, Hud. Oh, he's like, that's a good idea. Let me go out a little bit. <laughs> no, nope, turn it back to... Dale! Oh, Come on! Man. Can't fix stupid, guys. Is he going to stop? Yeah, I, th I think it ran out of fuel, yeah, guys. I think, I think that's that, guys. He's just sitting oh. there. Menacingly! <laughs> <laughs> What's what's Aaron doing now? Aaron's also taking the short way around the racetrack. You gotta wonder, maybe they're this low the on fuel and they're just trying not to make take any more distance than they have to. This is uh one of the more obscure caution periods we have ever seen in tow car history. I don't, I don't really know what's going on here, but back once again at the gauntlet. LW wrong, leading the field uh for the second or third time today, and Andrew, despite it all up here right next to him. Um, we have some guys down in the bottom of the field here. Dega Dub, obviously, after what we just saw out of the race. Shave Burns, Liz Wyoming, who we're going to have to meet with. D uh, David Gutterball, Clink Bottles, David Crappenshits, all out of the race, down to 36 vehicles on track, and 26 of which are on the lead lap. Some of those probably have damage as well, but we're ready to get this thing going and, uh, and maybe make some picks here, guys. Uh, what do you think? Well, for me, it's uh, it's probably going to have to be that 42 of Bill Landlines. After uh, what he saw happen to Clariton Chris in Daytona practice, he's determined. He wants the car to do good. He actually has seatbelts in it now because he's not allergic. And as we're back green, but what do you think, Tristan? I think uh, keep an eye on that 51 of Cease and Desist. I think he's had a very, uh, very pretty, a pretty good race so far. Like he's he's been up here for the majority of it, just kind of kept keeping his. P's and Q's, and uh, I think I think he's going to be the one to get her done today. Well, I Don't have you, a Matt. firm belief, belief rather, in Colonel Caleb Rose in the 59 car. He's See, look what he's doing right now. He's hanging out. He's watching everybody down below him and up ahead, watching as they shimmy and shake for position. Um, d didn't get as wide there on that restart, I don't think, as we, as we have been. We're kind of lacking on vehicles out there that are up to pace anyway. But someone that didn't set a pace in qualifying, as we've said before, Victor E. Lane going for the lead. T trying to take it from Todd, the stained trousers, and weed trimmer. You know, sometimes, guys, when a car drives past, you can tell it has a different exhaust. When this 12 drives by the booth, it smells different. So, uh, I don't know. Not, not trying to be a conspiracy smells proof. fruity. Well. Strawberry? I you thought hear... it was strawberry. Mm. Yeah. I hear the fruit is good for uh, combustion. That's true. It's flammable or something. I think. 
Weed Trimma has taken... Well, he did take solitary custody of the lead, but Victory Lane's fighting back up on his left. We have the 86 car. That, you know, that is Reese Ware. We did have problems with last season, but I don't, I don't think he's been too bad this season as far as causing crashes and plowing into ones that are already happening. Victory Lane looking to the inside once again on We Trimma with help with Andrew. And guys, we're kind of getting down to it here. Um, these guys are going to start jostling for position a little more often than... I mean, it feels like they've been doing it every turn, but I feel like it's just going to... Just now going to start getting even more aggressive as we get to the closing stages. Intensity is rising. They're going to have to start strategizing because like right here, the 86 was at a disadvantage going into the corner, but now he has the advantage. He's going to get this big run down the bottom. Mm, Lord almighty. They kind of push up there. I wonder elected. if it has anything to do with the paint. He's elected to take the big arc going in turn one here. Maybe, if he's clear. He's going to rim rod the top. Look at that. So many options here at the gauntlet of lanes to drive in. There's benefits oh, and slow cons car. to every slow lane. Car. Let me. Let uh, me get in your way. Uh... <laughs> yeah, let me get in the way. Okay, that's a that's a daunting view, watching a fat pack of cars come flying at you. They're, these guys are probably going about 40 miles an hour faster than Lemmy is right now. Ooh. They're going right for him, too. Oh, Victor! Derek Pope trying to send it up the inside. Nope, it's going to be Massive Chris, just like Auto Club. Oh, they're getting Flying stacked. down the inside. No, he's going to pit oh, no, road! He's hitting. Massive Chris making a massive pit stop. What, coming to five to go, guys? Or is it is five to go? We're looking at Lemmy. Lemmy's a lap down, maybe. I don't know. It, five to go. That's a hell Something of a strategy. Like hey, you know what? They might crash, so it might work out for them. They're kind of getting spread out here, though. Fix you know, lane. This kind of helped out. I was watching the colonel back there. He was uh, pretty far away from the pack, but that lap car uh, checking everybody up. He's all of a sudden back in this uh, main pack here, so this has definitely opened the door for a lot of drivers here. One of those being LW Wrong. I feel like uh, the only times we've talked about him today is when he restarts up front, but then he kind of slinks back into the pack. He's going for the lead with Harvey Quinn, who brought out our first caution of the day. What a good bounce back for Harvey Quinn after here he goes. early, Whoa, early uh -oh. troubles to taking the lead here. I think... Nope. I thought maybe he was pitting. We got Ollie up he's here. Pitting. He's going to be in the way here in a moment. David. Or David. <laughs> Derek Polk to the inside. Reese Ware behind him. And here comes. Here comes Cease and Desist. And Andrew. And and. <gasps> Panning out very, very wide as they catch this slow car. Who's going to get the short end of the stick? Oh. Maybe nobody? Nope. nope. It's Harvey. And Reese. And Reese. Reese actively went behind the slow car. That's on him. That's his fault. What an idiot. Well, Ollie actually has, well, I was going to say he has a little more speed in the car than the last one did, but he's still not going to be able to hold the draft, it looks like. Yeah, he can hold on to the big bank corners, but not so much when they start accelerating again on the exit. Victory Lane refuses to give up up here, though. He is trying his hardest to control this race and get his first win in tow car. The uh, strawberry-scented car up here, dominant performance so far. Oh, here comes the stain! Up, oh, yeah, they're oh, no. the pit. They're trying oh, to they're pit. They pit. Derek Polk is around, spinning in front of what I thought would be the pack, but no one's here. It was just a single car accident that is going to bring out the caution, however, and they're racing back here. A lot of cars on pit road. That's that's not going to work out well for them. We got about three cars trying to win the race back to the line. This is going to work out great for Dale Bernhardt, who is not going to lose a lap. Victory lane. And oh, I, where did he come from? Where's Steel Park been all day? He's here now. When it matters. He, yeah, he, it's true. It's true what they say. What happened? We have, a, we have a caution. Taking another look at what the hell just happened here, Derek Polk is trying to pit with the stain. And unfortunately for him, Joplin Moore didn't want to. He didn't plan on pitting. Well, look at LW. I don't think he made pit road, but he also didn't do what Dega Dub did, fortunately. Yeah, but quick spin worse. for Derek. 
Oh yeah, just just a little 360 or what, however many degrees he rotated, and keep on trucking or carin, mailing. Gonna take a ride on board the 01 of Joplin Moore here. Now, mind you, he didn't want to pit. He got caught up in this because Derek Pope came down, Ooh. wanted to pit from the second lane. As you see, LW taking a swerve to the in inside. We've seen that before today. But possibly even the fifth lane out there. There's so many lanes out here. But that's uh. You know, no harm, no foul for him, at least. Field's kind of bunched up here under caution. It's, oh, 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 my God! God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Why? Dad, what God. are we doing? A three cars just came flying into that with no regard for human Why? life. Scubs, I think, is going to get away with it. He's driving all the way down to the inside. Nope, he's coming back up on the track. Oh, oh here's why Wyatt. Why oh, no. the pit? Oh, it's, oh there's no, a pissing no. match. No, what? No! Oh! oh. oh. Squash. Dumbasses. What the hell? Wyatt Wilkinson doing the moonwalk there. You get onto pit road and Scubs didn't want to pit. But good on him. Yeah, I mean probably should have pit after that, but That was stupid. The hell. He doesn't have enough body armor to protect himself from the brunt end of a pit wall. Let's ride on board with Dad Gum, see what he could have been thinking. They're all slow up here trying to figure out getting the pits. I guess he was just <sighs> texting and driving, guys. I can't yeah, think of any other reason. Was not just, looking in front of himself. I've been studying the Bible. Don't understand this. I just don't understand. Well, we've seen what seems to be it all here, besides someone going into the grassy area Mike brought up earlier in the broadcast. And it's all come down to this. It's going to be a green, white, checkered restart. Attempt number one. Victory lane. Oh, oh what's happening back oh, there? Oh, Sir Blue. Sir Lewis. He's trying to get to, uh, man, if the fucking goddamn camera would... Oh my. He's up there somewhere. There he is. I don't know what he felt like doing. He just fell to the back. Maybe he ran out of gas. We'll see. We got <laughs> Victory Lane leading him down, and Hoodless, 18 car of Filet Mignon leading the other what? lane. Oh! Oh! Is is Steel Park, Steel out of Park gas? just veered to the left. I, <laughs> he's in the grass. He might be out of gas. He's quitting. Oh, and Harvey Quinn, speaking of things that start with Q, going for the lead. As Filet Mignon drops like a rock. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, LW. He's flipping. Oh, look at that. Hard flipping. Something oh, went oh, wrong. Geez. Oh, man. That's it's still going. Who is that still a, flipping? A baker's dozen flips. Maybe even more. The caution's got to be, be back out, here. right? For yeah. sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and Steel's still no. stuck. Steel's sitting there. Is it? Is the caution out? Yep. Okay, fantastic. They're racing, They're racing right, Cool, back. cool, cool. We can never be too sure. The caution lights are four miles away. Now, these guys, they might never want to pit. Them. No. No takers. Oh! oh! What happened there? Oh. They got hooked. Is Harvey out of gas? I think so. Oh, God. What is up with the fuel Ooh. situation in tow car and right 12. now? Oh, we got a lot of cars out of fuel. So <laughs> many cars. Just falling off the pace. We got, we got trouble back there again, guys. Who's crashing? I smoke. Cam Arrow. Oh, no. Aaron. Aaron's out of gas and out of the race, possibly. Who is even in the lead right now? Oh, my God. It's, it's Ca uh... Cars are everywhere. Is Andrew leading? He's up here somewhere. <gasps> oh! oh. It's never been a more dangerous situation in the tow car goodies trash series than it is right now. Cars running out of gas left and right, causing accidents having aneurysms, trying to avoid slow vehicles. But Andrew, and cease and desist, and Massive Chris, lead them back to the caution, and they're gonna check up here for whoever is in the pace car. Amidst the chaos of cars running out of fuel, we still managed to produce a crash with all guys that had fuel. They'd all just come together right there, Kobe Keith, Lawful Allen, and LW Wrong, and it ends up in the 50 car, just a barrel rolling on the pit exit. The 65 is going to do a cool trick right here. Check it out. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> that didn't help him, though. It pointed him in the wrong direction. Maybe he was just trying to get the flipping 50 car out of his sights because he didn't want to see it. I know I would. But, yeah, L LW still ends up back on him wheels. I don't think it's going to mean much for his participation in the rest of this race. But... At least he gets to drive it back. We're going to take a ride on board LW here. 
This one's a doozy, so. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, man, it dug in that grass one too many times, and then it just starts going like a Beyblade, but in the other direction. Vertical Beyblade, if you will. Dreidel. Well, the fact sure. that he was able to gather it up and drive away from this is insane to me. But, you know, nothing ever surprises me surprises me here in Tokar. Tough feller. Well, if he's got the steering still... Well, come on. Oh. Ah, that's a wall. Then we see racing back. We got Asiago, Asiago. A little bit slow. But then... Because the 90 oh. just runs into him. Like, does he has... 55 fucking lanes on the racetrack, but does not matter. Drives into the 54. Well, maybe he's trying to make a statement uh, for the Asiago it. family. Why would Phil got lucky. He would have plowed right into him if the timing was right. Back here at the gauntlet for what will end up being the final restart in the interest of public safety, which is a th strange thing for Tokar to be saying, uh, and the lack of fuel in the tankers on pit road. We will just give it one more go here. And somehow, someway, Philae Mignon has found his way back to the lead to lead them back here. But Andrew is right there. Strong car all day. Cease and desist. That's Tristan's pick. He's up there in third. The Stain right there in fifth. A lot of players. Not a lot of time to play. And we're racing. Cease already trying to get around the 18 car there. Yeah, he's slow as shit. Yep, pulls it to the inside and gets out of the way. Here comes Colonel Caleb Rose. That's my pick. Here he comes. The stain. He's up here. Dude, the stain is staining. We have some ceasing, some staining, and Drew. Now we got to hope all these guys <laughs> have to beg and pray to Dad Gum that these cars have enough fuel in them. Because after what we saw, everybody just running out constantly, it could be trouble. Is that the 59 slowing? It is. I think he's slowing. Oh, he's man. running out of gas. Well, I think he's. I think he was already damaged from earlier wrecks. Honestly, guys. Uh, Ooh, yeah, know. that car oh, is definitely off pace. Big. A lot of cars slowing big. Oh, the caution the is out. The race is back. Racing back. back. This, this is, is it. Is going to be for the race? Is it going to be the stain? Is it going to be Weed Trimma? Can Andrew hold on? The stain's running out of gas. Here comes Weed Trimma out to the right of Andrew. Who is going to have enough fuel to make it back to the line? Massive Chris making massive moves late. Wait, Trimma Ooh, emerges as the sole leader. I think he's going to get it done. Massive Chris in second. Cease and desist behind him. Andrew running out to the line. Wait, Trimma makes it back first, but they got to pace it out. It's going to be a long lap, guys. Oh, absolutely. The pace car up here, whoever's handling that thing. We Trimma wasting no time catching up. We have cars exiting pit road in the middle of this. Massive Chris is already up the cheeks of Weed Trimma. As they're catching the pace car, I'm wondering if that means anything. I'm not sure. You can't push. You can't go pushing somebody to the finish. You have to actually make it on your own volition. Um, back behind this, Cam Arrow crossed the line third. Cease and desist fourth. Andrew fifth. And who's that? That's, that's Lawful Allen in sixth after everything. The stain we know was running out of gas. We don't know who's oh, we even got a bunch trying to pace it back. Yep, Cam Arrow. Oh, no. What's he doing? What? Uh, it's short What's to go back. Here? I They're feel not... like the aliens might have... might have affected the entire field last week. After what we saw. No! Oh, weed trim is oh, pulling weed trim up! It's out! Oh, no, he's trimming the weeds! Very fitting, but very disappointing. That hands the lead to Massive Chris. If he has enough fuel... Up. No, I don't think he does. Oh, I don't think he's he slowing does down. Who is it? What Reese Ware. The world. I, they're all going slow. Oh man, it's gonna be a real race of nutrition. Preston Dewall is here. Is he on the lead lap? I don't even know. He is nope. not. He is three laps down. Is Reese Ware even on the lead lap? No. No. <laughs> Who's on the lead lap? Oh my god. I don't know who's about to Dude, Asiago oh, Asiago is about to win this race himself. Where is the pace cart? <laughs> Not giving a damn. Well who's gonna win this race? <laughs> we have no idea what's going on here in the booth. We think Asiago thinks Chris, he's winning. Massive Chris Look might win him. this on pit road. He might. 
Nessa Chris if he has very enough. well could win this race still. This is... This is this chaos. Is, I don't know how, how to describe what we are seeing, guys. I can I can tell you are, that for a fact. We are struggling with scoring. Oh! We are bearing, trying to bear Colonel with Colonel wants the win still. I don't think he's eligible I right now. I don't know. Go back. I, he might win it. I don't know. Where'd he go? I, nope. All right, he crossed the line. It didn't. It didn't yeah. The this real is, question is, where is Massive Chris? Here he is. Oh, he's coasting 35 miles an hour. It's off. Oh, man, guys. He wants this to is... be a two-time winner this season in the tow car goodies trash series. Well, let's hang on, guys. Let's let's take a man, the the camera on the, on the lead pack here oh. and see what's going on. Uh, no. Not much. Oh. Have they it's all ground everybody. to a halt? What in the world? There he is. Come on. Can you do it? Massive Chris, where is his pit stall? Oh, no! The line is past pit road. Well, it's got to be a quick in and quick out if he can do it. Guys, this might go to Weed Trimmer if everybody runs out. If, oh, oh, he oh. retired the car! And now Ashiago's out. He thought he could win this. Well, guys... In an incredibly wacky and wild turn of events, not a single car made it back around to the line. As you can see there, it is right past pit exit. So none of the cars that ran out of gas crossed the line again, and that happened to be literally the entire field, aside from some cars that were a lap down. So effectively, we Trimma has won this race without finishing the race. You know, guys, I thought we would never see a race in tow car where nobody finished the race, but I guess technically today's our first day. But don't let that discourage you, because as you saw, the 33, he did cross the white flag first, and just simply nobody else crossed the finish line. So, based on how scoring works, that he is the winner. Nobody did better than him. So no it's reason like, to be pissed off. It's as if we are just going back to the results from taking the caution at the white flag. And just that that's all we got because no cars passed the line again that were four position. So, I mean, we have, you see here, eight cars technically on the lead lap. One of those being Colonel Caleb Rose, who ran out, I think, right on the restart. But that's a lot of cars a lap or more down. But guys, we still got to see what brought out that last caution. We sure do. It's true. We're going to take a look at what happened here to bring out the final Caution. It looks like Aaron? Aaron yeah, Pressure was involved in this one. Okay. I don't know why. Um, Jackie said. Oh. Hey. There's a lot of backfire you know, coming out of that 75 there as he cranked it left down the racetrack. So I feel like it might have been running out of gas. Jackie said didn't fill her quota this week. So she had to get into at least one wreck, it feels like. So how fitting it'd be the last one. It's fun. Riding on board with Aaron Pressure here. See, man. Run around by getting some fresh air under that windshield. But uh, he tries to slow down the pit and just gets clacked in the middle of three. And they all go up and all into the wall there. Almost into the cypress trees if they were going a bit faster. It's not good driving out of air and pressure. But you know what? He's brand new. Can't blame him. Plus, he's a pressure. I can. I can blame him a lot. Oh, God, honestly. watch out for Harvey. Well, guys, that was quite possibly the dumbest tow car race that... I have ever sat in this booth for um just a lot going on all day we got some green flag racing in some soft collections some hard collections some running out of gas but at the end of it weed trimma was the one to lead him back to the white flag and like i said that was the last lap that got completed so this is your finishing results we have weed trimma 33 car gets his first tow car win here in the goodies trash series Ma uh massive chris P2, Cam Arrow ends up third, seasoned assist in fourth, and Drew in fifth, Lawful Allen with a sixth place finish, Todd the Stained Trousers in seventh, and Colonel Caleb Rose in eighth, completing the cars that technically finished on the lead lap. And then we have Phil Mignon and Derek Polk rounding out the top ten. And just a lot of guys that ended up having trouble throughout the night, especially with some fuel issues, but uh, 
A lot of them several laps down, a lot of them damaged, and then a lot of them tore up down here at the end of the field. I feel really bad for a lot of these guys, but you know what? I think we're going to make it out of here without any grave injuries, if you will. So, all things considered for Gauntlet, a lot of these guys are breathing a sigh of relief after this one. Yeah, just kind of a, a race. A race was definitely held here, and uh, I, I don't even know what to say. It's uh, a... <laughs> I'm speechless, guys. I don't know what we just saw. I don't know um, how I feel about this race, but all things considered, I guess, uh, congrats to Weetrima on uh, technically winning. Um, it's, it's a legit win. I don't win. know. It's, it's a win. Like a win's a win. A win's like a win. What was that, 2007? Yeah, win's a win. Can't take that from him. It's not It's not like he didn't deserve it. So. Oh, yeah. Um, he was up there all day. Simply so. nobody passed him. I mean... How else can you That's, lose? Maybe yeah. coast it back to the line, and, and you could have won the race. My, Massive Chris had all the opportunity in the world to win this race, but decided, no, I'm just going to stop. So, wrapping things up here at the gauntlet, though, uh, once again, congratulations to Weed Trimma. Um, we hope you've all enjoyed your Thursday night here with us and the good uh, Tokar Goodies Trash series. Uh, tomorrow night, the Split Cup Series will premiere at 8 p.m. instead of 6 p.m. due to John NASCAR deciding that the Truck Series needs to race at Talladega on Friday afternoon slash night. So after whatever happens there, come on, come on back. We'll have some Split Cup action for you to cleanse your palate of what might be just garbage. What you, any last thoughts from, from the fellas? I'm scared for tomorrow as much as I was for today, so uh, hopefully we can keep our streak of not killing anybody alive. I think we're going to have a, hopefully a fun race. It's going to be a fast race tomorrow, so uh, make sure make sure you tune in for that. Again, Did I at 8 right? p.m. They're hitting you hear what? 300? Close to it, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So That's we're gonna, crazy. We're going to have some fun at Pig's Creek. From the ghoulish gallows of the Gauntlet Speedway, I'm Matt. And I was joined by Mike and Tristan, as always. No Kyle tonight. You can feel about it how, however you want. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks for watching. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Weed. Oh, man. Uh, only Nobody wins. Nobody wins. Race over. We'll, well do it live!